Well, Chuck, there's 26 days to one of the most important fights in your life against John Wayne Parr on the Gold Coast. How are you feeling? I feel good, man. Um, it's a very important fight. It's, it's my legacy, you know. I want to... I do want to end up my legacy from, like, the last fight. The Jeff Horn fight? The Horn fight, and uh, I wasn't going to bow out like that. I'm too competitive. I'm too much of a, a champion to, to, to bow out like that. So I want to, um, you know, make the wrongs all right and go with the victory, man. You've just stepped off a plane from Brisbane. What were you doing up there? Um, I had to do a bit of, um, you know, uh, commercial stuff for the fight um, yesterday. And then I stayed there overnight because I had sparring organised uh, this this morning. I sparred eight good rounds um, with some young boys, so man, uh, I'm, I'm getting ready. Well, it's almost 12 months to the day, as we mentioned. How's the body? Yeah, body's, body's still a bit still a bit... Because I haven't been sparring regularly, like consistently, but this last month I'll, I'll be starting to spar twice a week rather than once a week. Um... So once I get a couple of them, I'm, I'm a couple of weeks on my belt doing that, I think I'll be really in really good stead. I'll be doing 10, 11 rounds um, one, at least once a week. What about mentally? Nah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, you know, uh, a lot of people uh, rip me off. A lot of people, I want to, uh, this, is, this fight is really to inspire people, to show people that you can lose. You can lose and still become champion or still win or become a winner um i want to inspire a lot of people to do with this fight because you know to get stopped in the first round and then come on and win such an important fight um with the, with the john wayne Parr, he him being another another legend he's going to come with a just as much as want as i want you know what i mean as much will as i got mm. so but i really feel that skills are going to pay the bills and i got to be smart and get up, you know, have my mojo. Once I got my mojo, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm there's levels about levels to this game, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove that. Inshallah. You look a lot better now than you did this time last year. Oh yeah, definitely, man. I'm, I don't have to, you know, I'm not gonna be as gaunt and as withdrawn. And um, you know, they they they, go, they had a game plan to to wither me away, wither me away. With my weight and, and it worked for me to drop so far and not not i couldn't even go up a certain amount i couldn't go over 75 but i couldn't be i couldn't be above 71 in the weigh-in so the second weigh-in that uh, i couldn't put on more than four kilos and for a normal fighter you put on five six kilos for a normal fighter mm. some guys put on 10 you know after the weigh-in so they really limited me as a you know and but they don't know what they're doing. But I really feel it wasn't it wasn't them they're doing. I really feel that was God's will. He put me in this predicament for a reason. I, I don't know why. And inshallah I'm gonna repay that and prove prove not to not just to um prove to everybody and myself um why I'm why they call me the man. Now, a few people in the boxing world and on social media suspect that John Wayne Parr's got a big punch. And it's going to put you in the danger zone. Yeah, well, I mean, it's boxing. You know what I mean? Like, well, he's, he's going to be the same weight as me. Um, he, he's probably, probably a little bit um, stronger than me, punch-wise. But I've never been the biggest puncher, but, you know, I, mean, I, I can knock you out if, if I land um, clean and I land with that timing. Um, it's like shock power and, uh, you know, I want to see everything you know he's going to be thrown. So um, I just can't get with them, caught with them shot punches. You know what I mean? And if I, you know, this this fight is really I'm only I've really been working on my defense and my my craft in defensively. You know, for this fight because once you know in my career I was a defensive wizard and I'm trying to get that back. And I'll in the gym I'm doing unbelievable. Um, all these young boys that's coming up and supposed to be next champs. I'm I'm doing amazing against them, so I'm, I still fight. I still got it. I still got it. But despite the fact that you're working on your defence, it's the offence that wins the fight. Yeah, but I've always got the offence. The offence is always there. My timing, my jab, my jab, my best punch. Um, speed. Speed and my right hand. My right hand. My, when I hit you with that right hand down down the middle, it shocks you, man. It, it might be. It can be one one punch KO power if I'm in the right position, but it'll definitely. 
get your attention and, and you know wobble your wobble your legs a little bit. <laughs> now we know that um, November thirty is the one and only focus on your mind right now. But have you thought about down the track about a zarafa or horn? Um, I just had to get through this fight form for me. I'm on a based on performance. So perform the way I think I'm gonna perform in inshallah in this fight and then I'll be open to 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 As long as they know as long as they know that they're the they're the B side. You know what I mean? I've been in this game for far too long and broke too too many records in order to for them to you know I've been champion. I've been ranked number one in the world. I've done all that. You know what I mean? That's not important to me anymore. You know, what's important to me is, you know, them knowing who they, where, where they sit, you know, amongst the, with the name. So what does the next 26 days hold for you? Just hard work. Hard work. Um, it's definitely the next three weeks, or two and a half weeks, three weeks, no, three weeks, no, two and a half weeks. I'll be really putting in work. Um, I'll be even, I'll be doing double days, so training twice a day. Um, you know, only five days a week because I need that two days to repair and recover. But I'll bump my sparring up to two times a week instead of one. Um, you know, to really get that that fitness level to where it needs to be. And once that's done, I'm gonna taper down and focus on the fight. Come in, come in, you know, get my weight right, come in, come in strong, come in fit, and I'm on a different level in the boxing game, and I'm, that's what I want to prove. Now, you've been just as busy outside the ring as you've been in the ring, and uh, no doubt Nick Politis and Trent Robinson would um, be keen to speak with you about <laughs> Latrell Mitchell. Can you give um, us the news there? No, no, no news there. You know, it's more of a media beat up. <clears throat> like, I'm close with the Mitchell family. Um, I've known known uh, the Troll's father, Maddie, for some time since he was a teenager. He came to Sydney and played and hung out with us. We, you know, <coughs> me, Wesley Patton, and Maddie, 